Hello and welcome. My name is Dr. Ruthu Solani. I'm a gynecologic oncologist and professor of obstetrics and gynecology at UCLA. Although the five-year relative survival rate for ovarian cancer is about 51%, the survival rate for advanced ovarian cancer with distant metastases has remained around 31% in the United States since 2014. The primary treatment approach for patients with advanced ovarian cancer includes surgery combined with platinum-based chemotherapy and sometimes with an anti-angiogenic agent. But for those patients who have had a complete or partial response to platinum-based chemotherapy, we may also consider maintenance PARP inhibitor therapies. Although clinical trials have demonstrated the efficacy and safety of PARP inhibitor maintenance therapy, a real-world clinical study showed a considerable number of patients who responded to initial chemotherapy later undergo active surveillance instead of maintenance therapy. This retrospective study evaluated 705 patients with advanced ovarian cancer between 2017 and 2021, regardless of biomarker status from the Flatiron Health Database. The objective of the study was to assess the use of PARP inhibitor monotherapy compared to active surveillance after completion of first-line chemotherapy. In this study, the median progression-free survival was not reached for patients in the PARP inhibitor group compared to 9.5 months for the active surveillance group, with a statistically significant difference observed. This study suggested that PARP inhibitor maintenance therapies achieved a 53% reduced risk of disease progression across all patients, regardless of biomarker status. A reduction in the risk of progression or death was more prominent in patients with BRCA mutations or homologous recombination deficiency. However, patients with different biomarker statuses still derived a reduction in risk of progression or death from PARP inhibitor maintenance therapy. In this study, PARP inhibitor maintenance utilization has significantly increased from 2017 to 2021, with more than 50% of patients on PARP inhibitor maintenance in the year 2021. However, 47% of primary advanced ovarian cancer patients were still not receiving PARP inhibitor maintenance in the first line setting. While this data may present promising insights, there are several limitations to the study we would like to highlight. Excluding patients who had confirmed progression within four months of chemotherapy may have led to an overestimation of real-world progression-free survival. Also, the flat iron health EHR derived populations may not be fully representative of the overall population of patients with advanced ovarian cancer in the United States. In addition, real world studies are susceptible to selection bias and data issues, such as incomplete or inconsistent records, which can bias results and requires cautious interpretation of the data. In conclusion, this study aligns with the clinical practice of using PARP inhibitor maintenance in advanced ovarian cancer patients. However, additional real-world studies and associated data may provide a more comprehensive picture of the ovarian cancer management landscape. Thank you for watching.